Our area is rolling out some new screening process for visitors. It's supposed to keep our children safe. Now, it might not stop a school shooting, but it will help Ridgefield School District keep at least some people like sex offenders away from school. Eileen Park joined us live with more on this. Eileen? Jeff, the next time you want to visit a school at the Ridgefield School District and want to walk around campus, you're going to need your driver's license. New visitor coming into the high school will come into the front office. Paula McCoy with the school district is showing us their brand new way of screening visitors. First, they will be required to check in at the front counter where we have our visitor management system. Then you give them your driver's license. Okay. And here we have Benjamin Moore with a lovely photograph there. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to check him into the high school. Benjamin Moore is a coin six photojournalist who put together this story you're watching oh, now. now. There it goes. So there is Benjamin's visitor pass. This is his golden ticket in. Now he can walk around school property. So what's the point of all of this? It also does the National Sex Offender Registry check. At the point that they come into the building, they sign in by dropping their photo ID. It goes out and it runs that check to make sure that that individual is not potentially a registered sex offender. If you were a sex offender, this is what would pop up on the screen. You can see what that looks like there. And that message will go to school leaders. An offender named John Doe logged in today and today's day at the high school. In light of all the violence we've seen at schools around the country, this is just one way the district is closing the security loopholes they can control. If somebody really wants to get in the building, they're going to find a way to get in the building. This is just a process for us as a district to at least have a better idea of who's coming in and out of our buildings. Now, in June, the school district is going to go even further with this. They're going to start looking at the Washington State criminal databases, but that's only for anyone who wants to volunteer with the school. There are stricter rules for that. Now, if you were curious about how much all of this costs, well, four systems at four different schools cost about $4,500. Live in Ridgefield, I'm Molly Park for Coin6 News.